hello 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 everyone welcome back to my channel i really really appreciate your presence here just cleansing the vibes here right now okay so this is the first sunday the day i'm recording this and hopefully i'll upload this today it's the first sunday of the year which is the 8th of january i believe and 8th is such a auspicious number it is like the infinity sign you know you allow grace and ease in your life infinite abundance infinite love just close your eyes while i give you that infinite love abundance peace joy and wealth and cleanse your aura and spirit here cleansing all the tarot cards and oracle cards that's going to be a tool for us for this reading Uh, I've tried my best for a beautiful setup for a new year setup. You may or might not be able to view all of that, but let's see if this helps. That's too bright. Okay, here maybe it's again brighter. Mm -mm. Okay, let me keep keep it here, not distract you guys. All right, so uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Sharon, and this channel is called Luminous Guide. Over here, I do my tarot counseling, talk about mental health awareness, talk about positive content and a positive lifestyle for all of us. And I am an intuitive medium for tarot and counseling, and I try my best to channel the messages. that i see and receive from my intuitive guides um mostly i call upon archangel michael but you can take a deep breath and call upon anyone that you please or anyone who is your spirit guide and you would like to connect with them so this will be a channeled message right now although it's january 8th but i'm going to keep it as a timeless video So whenever you hit on this video this is your message. And this light we have amethyst here let me just settle this for you. Meanwhile everyone please close your eyes and take a deep breath. Okay? Take a deep breath and soak in all the energy that I have lit here through my candles and crystals. Take a deep breath once again please. Hold on. Inhale the peace, the love, the joy, the good messages that's coming your way through Archangel Michael, all the angels, saints, spirit guides, universe and Anna. And our ancestors or the deities that you believe in. And just exhale out all the stress the the one that does not serve you right doesn't need to be in your system. so exhale that out because it doesn't serve you right okay some good sound cleansing here so i'll try my best to do a detailed reading of overall energy career relationship whatever i channel here okay take whatever resonates whatever does not resonate kindly do not try to push it or force it or try to make it yours because it's not yours we are doing reading here for the collective my friends so please remember that this is a reading for the collective okay so some content may resonate with you some may not so take only and only and only what resonates with you and what does not resonate with you please just leave it be okay thank you universe angels spirit guides and ancestors for the messages that we received today for the collective and the general what is the overall message for the collective and the general today what is it that i need to give them guidance on with the help of these beautiful tools given to me okay The first card that here is the anchor. 
number 35 so number 7 could be significant to some um, I hope you guys can see it I'm sorry it's a night reading so that's how it's gonna be I'm trying to settle some candle here for you okay I think I think this is lit enough let it down okay So, if you can see her much clearly now, it's the anchor. I got my candle a little closer for you. <laughs> I just love the candle energy. I've been connecting a lot with candle energy recently. So, that could be, you know, for somebody as well. Alright, without further ado, we're already five minutes up on this video. It's an anchor, okay. What does the anchor generally signify? Strong rooted connection or you need to get grounding in your life if that's not done. Okay, whatever you're doing, anchor it, stamp it, seal it, trademark it. Especially I'm getting a message for these people who are in business or business owners. And if you have not trademarked or you have not um, sealed or stamped something, you know, there is a possibility that you may be, a, you could possibly, you could be getting into some sort of um, legal, legal situation that you do not want to get into it. Okay. And um, there is also a significant message that I get for some of you is for resting because, you know, after a long journey, you need to anchor on board. Uh, also, it's a possibility that you may be dealing with a family member, friend, or you could be somebody who is right now on the ship or somewhere related to the sea, sea voyage. Something like, like that or you may have family, uh, friends or love interest who is a uh, shippy or who is in the marine or you know is always sailing so that's a possibility and I'm, I, I'm just getting the need of continuously cleansing a vibe here. So I'm picking up a vibe here that really really needs protection and that kind of energy and needs hell lot of cleansing okay. So I don't know who it is. Please get some protection or some sort of cleansing done. Okay, that's for somebody else, whosoever energy I've picked up. Okay, let's check. I'm gravitating a lot towards oracle cards first. So let's check what other messages do we have. I'm going to keep this here. If you can see it for now. Okay, you don't really see it, so I'm going to keep it here. All right, anchoring is very important at this point in time for some of you. Anchoring. Okay, what is this? Spirit guides, what is this? Talk to me. Okay, so two cards popped up. One is water your garden. And the other one is jump in. Wow. Both very interesting and different energy here. You may be hearing a lot of background sounds, noise, animal, dogs barking. It's the... Thing that happens oh sorry there are three cards that jumped up and the other one is messenger so I'm going to go in detail with all okay what are your garden moreover it's not just your physical garden if you do like plants and you connect with nature and that sort of energy I also see that you know what you really need to take care or control of is your own self your own head uh, you know lifestyle so hydrate more, nourish your body, nourish your mind, your spirit, your soul. So you need to get into that energy or that element of hydrating more, which is declutter your mind, your body, your spirit and your soul. Okay. And a lot of you could be uh, also just jumping in or, you know, going through a major hangover right from Christmas, New Year, the holiday season. So you really need to take care of your body a little more and maybe detox a bit, which is your mind, body and spirit. Jump in. Okay, which is more talking about uh, the adventure of life, jumping, like a quantum jumping. A lot of people do quantum jumping. It's, you can, you know, look it up online. Apart from that, there is something like, uh, you know, embrace the change, jump into the change. Okay, is what I'm getting as a message. Because we are one with the universe and the universe is one with us. And it's, it's only when we realize that concept will be able to accept the changes in our life and there are some beautiful changes waiting for a lot of you is what i get very energetically at this time 
However, you gotta really find your being. You really gotta center yourself. And now going back, now I know why the anchor is the first card that's popped up because it all connects very well. You gotta anchor yourself. You gotta ground your thoughts. You gotta ground your energy. You gotta, you know, take a break for some of you. Uh, you gotta still stamp something, right? So here with these cards popping out so beautifully, and the third card you are being messenger, and I'm going to tell you why it's like really all going in synchronization at this point in time with the water, the birds up here, the anchor in the in the color gold, and the number seven. Uh, sorry, the number eight. It's all like there is infinite abundance in this universe, and this universe is when we connect with the universe and we ground ourselves which is when we go inwards okay we are able to be one with the universe so we are in the universe and the universe is in us right and only if we anchor our thoughts we anchor our energy we anchor our mind body soul and spirit will we will be able to then really enjoy the beauty of us the beauty within so a lot of introspection is it's really 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 relevant here you know and also when only when you go inwards will you be able to elude that outwards the beauty the presence and the energy the power that you have you'll be able to display that outwards but for that my friend you first need to go inwards and also uh, going back here when it talks about nurturing you know garden uh, like water your garden that means it talks about watering your uh, thoughts. It talks about. It just doesn't talk about your physical body. It talks about the thoughts. You know what kind of words are you talking to yourself? Because you can't control what is outside. You can only control what is inwards. And I'm getting a lot of inwards, inwards, inwards messages. So I, I please understand what I'm trying to say here, and metaphors and direct languages as I get messages because I'm already channeling. So you got to start watering your thoughts. You want something to be done in your life. Speak to it kindly. Like you want to progress. Look at yourself as though you are already there. If you want to get married, look at yourself as if you're already there. If you want to have a child, look at yourself as you're already there. So it's your thoughts that you need to water a lot. And why do you do so? Why can't you declutter your mind? Why can't you declutter your body? Why can't you even declutter, you know, your spiritual needs? So maybe that is also very relevant here. And that's the jump that you have to take. That's the leap of faith that you have to take. That's the leap you need to make towards yourself. It's an investment, you guys, towards yourself is what you need to make. And for that, you cannot do that if you're continuously in motion, okay? The anchoring over here also talks about... Yes, you need to take action, but before you take any action, before you move your car further, before you go on the first gear, you also need to retract, you need to go on zero, okay, and be prepared, be ready, be strategized, be well rested, okay, is the message that I'm getting here. And also with this message, which is the messenger card, it's another beautiful card that says, serious energy bringing harmony and balance so what happens is a lot of times in life when we are going through um, non-stealth motion when we are going through rigorous action workforce you know like a whole lot of nine to five job or take it how it resonates with you people it's like we lose up on ourselves we lose up the balance and if we are off balance we are really not functioning what we are doing is just moving along right we're just we're just going with the speed. We're really not functioning. So to function well, we need to balance ourselves well. Maybe, uh, you know, a lot of you could possibly really sit back and start like at least five minutes meditation in the morning and five minutes meditation before you go off to sleep. And this is a message, you guys. Like do that. Just go in silence, okay? Uh, just go inward. Go in silence. Analyze what's happening within forget what's happening outside because that will automatically be at play no matter what no matter how no matter who okay analyze what's happening inside don't just keep jumping on a flight and running stay still for a while for you guys who are constantly jumping on a flight or on board and running okay wow that's like so deep and detailed what else am i getting 
connect with nature and you know a lot of you with this water here in the anchor card you need to work on your emotions as well if at all there is some emotional healing inner child healing shadow work that you need to do please go ahead and do so also uh while i'm talking about this every mondays at 6 pm we go live on instagram as well as there's a link sent on google meet it's a free meditation class so it's just not meditation it's meditation and healing uh you can email me or, or just check the link just check the information below and you can go on luminous guide at instagram and um, you know be there monday 6 pm ist indian standard time okay just uh, a message out there all right let's check what's happening now in terms of career for a lot of you uh and in between if i have to go back to these general messages because i feel that there is something that i've missed out on and it's going to come to me okay so don't you worry about that it's going to come to me mm -mm. all right let's get back and check what's happening in career for a lot of you so divine universe angels and sisters and spirits please help us out here with accurate message for the collective divine universe and sisters angels and spirits please help us here Okay, there's a lot of them just flew out, so I'm going to take at the back of the deck. There's page of wands. We'll get back to that a bit. But you guys, check out the cards that's that's just flew out of nowhere from here for your career. Okay, look at this major arcana cards. We have two major arcana here. Let me talk about that first. One is the fool card. Just now, I gave you an entire monologue of how you need to take a leap of faith. how you need to you know get yourself on zero the number zero here okay and look at this beauty it's number 8 the strength card let me map this up for you okay and then we have the six of cups and the page of swords and at the bottom of the deck there was a page of wands i'm going to take that as well so we have two pages here okay which is very child like energy a lot of information coming your way this month or whenever you're watching this around this so take this reading as like approximately 30 days whatever is supposed to happen because i don't go that far the time frame could be 30 days to 90 days okay not further than that so a month to 3 i see in career in business in your professional life you got to have strength and you got to take the effin leap of faith okay there will be people places and situations that will try to put you down but listen to your messengers and these messengers although here are very very child like and innocent but these messengers are not silly if they are here coming to give you messages i am 100% sure if you connect with them internally they are your spirit guides you guys they are your spirit guides and i'm getting this very very strongly that you need to connect with your ancestors your spirit guides whoever you think is your messenger which is your cardinal messenger which is your uh, universal messenger which is not your messenger in your 3d not in your third dimensional world more in your spiritual world is that messenger okay that's your spirit guide you know who i'm talking about because for everyone it's going to be different and obviously that that messenger is going to give you information in your dreams maybe through a song through some sort of um something that you will feel okay that's my message that i'm going to get okay but also you're going to see that in your third dimensional world as well so keep your eyes and ears open for these beautiful messengers who are coming your way and also with the fool and the strength card which is two major arcana card you guys you don't have to tame the lion which is outside okay you got to tame the lion which is inside and just in the beginning of this this reading this this tarot counseling i spoke about the infinity sign like you can see my tattoo here infinity sign it's like allow grace to flow in your life 
look out for signs okay a lot of you will be connecting with synchronicity and signs that's going to talk to you more about your career and your future and with the six of cups i see you know um I'm getting mixed messages here. So with the Six of Cups, for some, I see that you will be partnering with somebody who either you were, uh, you know, romantically involved with or you are, you wish to be romantically involved with right now. You may be partnering, uh, partnering with somebody like that. And also I see that you may be receiving a lot um, from the past. So for example, whatever you've done in the past, okay, you'll be receiving that to keep Keep that option open for you, okay? Maybe you've invested something in the past and now it's materializing. So whether you're at work, whether you have a job or whether you're into business, just keep your eyes and ears open and do not fear, okay? Do not fear. Be open to take a leap of faith in whatever's, whatever you're thinking in your life. Now, as for your career, what is the shadow work? Shadow work is what is the healing work that you need to do, okay? I'm going to just do that. This is the first time I'm doing such a detailed reading. I think which, which kind of... and Because we are not gender biased here, so take energy, how it resonates. I'm not talking about star signs. I'm not talking about zodiac signs. As we are co connecting with the collective here, so please just take whatever is suitable for you, whatever you feel is drawing you closer and whatever messages that you think is going to help you, the guidance, please take that only, okay? There may be bits and pieces of it, maybe not necessarily all, but if it's all or whatever it is, please feel free to comment. I would really appreciate you guys commenting on my channel. That would be really nice and sweet of you. All right, let's check what's the shadow work. That means what's the healing work that you need to do to ensure that you are here in your career and finances where you need to be. So we're going to check on what is it that you need to heal. Okay, let's check on that. This is for your career. So let's talk about that first. What is it that you need to heal? All right. Okay. Wow. Just look at this, you guys. Instantly, we've got the dear darling devil. <laughs> it's the devil's card here. Okay. Capricorn energy, not necessarily. So I'm not talking about science like I said, but look at this. What is it that you need to heal from is your addictions that is not serving you right. Point black. For some, you, it could be substance addiction or substance abuse that you're into. For some of you, it could literally be a woman energy, like a female energy. You could be, see, we, we as a human being have both um, male and, um, you know, male and feminine energy, okay? Masculine and feminine energy, sorry. So, I'm just saying you got to heal the 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 feminine energy either within you or you need healing from a feminine energy okay very very strongly i'm picking that up for you that means some of you could be going through some situation that's affecting your pesa you're affecting your money that is caused by a feminine energy i'm not saying female i'm saying a feminine energy take how it resonates for you also i see that some of you have some internal declutter to do mandatory please go ahead and and do this internal clutter i see a lot of you are playing dead that means a lot of you do not want to take action just want to strategize and do not wish to take action you want something stop play, stop rolling and playing dead you gotta take action you gotta be the bigger person here you gotta forgive yourself forgive others things went sour in your business things didn't work out very well in your career and finances stop blaming what did not work out why don't why don't you like just wake up thank the lord for giving you another day it's a new beginning fresh start fresh start okay so that is something that you really need to concentrate on number 15 could be significant one plus five is six and we also have a six card here so six six is a significance for somebody just putting it out there, you never know who needs to know that. So the devil is something that is within you, within your auric field, that is hampering or that's not letting you anchor your ship. That's not letting you anchor your ship, okay? Uh, what else do we have for career and finances? Let me just check through this oracle here. Oh my God, I'm just getting so much... 
of energy or to talk to you about this reading i feel like a huge presence here that is continuously asking me to request you guys to just get into decluttering cleansing mode and protection please go ahead and do that i will keep giving you the message that i get here right now on this channel as as i'm reading as i'm i'm doing this okay so anybody who needs cleansing please go ahead and do that okay another message that i get for you is the high lady of love and compassion number 1 You know, this also tells me that if you need to be number one in something in life where you're passionate, you're you're like all there in your rage of doing and being what you want to be, do not forget to be kind and passionate to others. Have some empathy in life because it's giving you a reminder that while you are going through a lot, it's a possibility that your pain can overpower your uh, your empathy. so get that down or your passion can overpower your empathy and your kindness you know you need to bring a lot of love into what you do career and business wise so do what you love and what you and if you're doing something that you don't love at this point in time and you're just doing that to pay your bills while you do so try taking up a hobby or try you know working on how you can nail that anchor to the ground that makes you feel solid and happy and you know feels you very empowered and grounded in life that's another message for some of you all right all right let's get into relationship i'll take another deck for that this reading is turning out to be so so in depth you guys i think this is going to go on for a longer time so You can pause right now. Get yourself a cup of coffee or some hot beverage. Okay, one just wanted to flip the magician card number one. Wow, major major life changes happening here. Okay, major life changes. Okay, which is this? And the Knight of Wands. You guys, something really passionate coming in your life. And look at this infinity sign. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this reading. Woof! I'm gonna just let me get some more cards and more clarity. I exactly know what's happening with a lot of you. Let me get some more cards and more clarity. Let me get some more cards and clarity. Dear universe, dear divine, ancestors, spirit guides, and angels, please help me out here. And Queen of Pentacles. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Your energy, I'm picking as a magician energy, and the person you're dealing with has the energy of Queen of Pentacles. Now again, it's an energy. It may not necessarily be a woman that you're dealing with. Please take the gender roles the way you wish to. Okay. because these are all energies two of pentacles wow okay those two wanted to come we have the king of swords and the fool card woo i'm going to clarify once again but okay right of the bat you have the magician's energy in you now what is a magician apart from he being an illusionist he or she okay this is a powerful human being a powerful energy a powerful person a powerful entity a powerful whoever you want to put this person in that's you you have the power within you to create the miracle and the magic in your relationship like he is doing here and this if you need it you can allow grace to you know flow with it and get into that infinite abundance of relationship with this one person that you're looking for not many not many this is if if you are right now chatting or thinking of many wait in the queue this is not for you this is for this person this energy who wants one energy in his or her life one okay one goddess or one god like 
energy in his or her life. And the magician here is no fool. Okay. Although we have the fool's card here, but the magician here is no fool. The magician exactly knows what he or she wants. So you have the ability to discover, decide your life with this person, your relationship with this person. You are the dominant character here, A. And you have the capability of walking the talk. Now, just because I said you're the dominant character, that doesn't mean you got to dominate somebody. That means you got to learn how to balance it out. That means you got to learn to uh, figure out what are the red flags in your relationship. Who have, and, there's, and there's a new relationship for some of you coming. Okay, For some of you, it's a present. But for a lot of you that I pick up is a new relationship coming in your life. Okay, There is a new person that you're talking to or you're interested in. And you feel this person is absolutely passionate, fiery. This person has this energy of a nurturer, is also very independent in terms of finances and career. But both of you, I see, are balancing something out. Maybe you are still one step in your old relationship and that's not yet completely like done. There's no end of it as yet, maybe in your process. But you're also wanting this new relationship to manifest in your life. There is some sort of string still attached with your old relationship which is bothering you. But you can, you know, now play as a king of swords, which is the king, the energy of somebody who can think, okay, who can like really work on this because I see like you have to do all the working in this. And what you really need to do is with this person, this new person, this queen of pentacles energy whom you get in your life, you got to take a leap of faith. Because if your old person, your old energy didn't really damage you, I don't look at this energy as damaging because this en energy doesn't care for fucks. Like, you know what I mean? Like, look at her. She's all in her own glory. That's the kind of person. You need this person in your life. And if you need this person in your life, you need that passionate, fiery romance and whatever that you're looking for, you got to work for it, my friend. You got to work for it. Okay, let's see what else. What else is coming in terms of relationship for the collective? Dear Divine Universe, Angel Spirit Guides and Ancestors. Hmm. Oh my God, Seven of Swords and uh, Sun, like that's it. This person, this next person or this person that you're thinking about right now, is so powerful, is so energetic, is so happy in his or her own life. You got to walk away from the old. You, you got to make that decision right now because the old was not good. It was so damaging. It was like, you know, you were wearing a mask in that old relationship. Okay. It was like really not giving you happiness. Maybe you love this old person, the old energy in your life. But that's it. That That's time up. The story is over now. Cut the cord of this old person. If you want this bright hearted, loving human being in your life, who's this energetic soul, who's like shining like the sun and nurturing like the queen of pentacles, you gotta cut that old cord off, my friend. Let's see what else is coming. Let's check for our singles. What's happening for our singles? The ones who are absolutely single. Hmm. You're going to meet. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Somebody is going through major heartbreak here. I feel you. I hear you. If you're going through this major heartbreak here, being blocked is not cool. Being cheated on, ghosted on is not cool. But you're cutting your own heart now and drinking out of this. Okay. You need rest. You need to heal. And you can move on then. And for those who are absolutely single, let's get back to you. Look at what's coming your way. Somebody from the past is knocking at your door. It's up to you knocking at your door of social media could be. Not physical or maybe physical door. It's up to you whether you want to take this person in your life or no. It's your decision. But I see a lot of you definitely going on many, many dates. Okay. Look at red flags. Huge indication and signs here. Look at red flags. And also, I'm going to just say it the way I can. 
if the person that you're going to get involved with for all of you okay your the singles the non singles all of you anybody who's watching this right now if somebody keeps continuously saying that they are too busy you're not the priority of this person it's a red flag don't get into it because nobody is so busy to leave a text or say hello or to say i've missed you or to say i love you or whatever or i need you in my life okay so you don't do that and don't let somebody else stomp you down let's check from the oracle here what is the message for you guys from the lovers oracle deck what else do you need to focus on in romance and love and relationship and this could be relationship with you know i mean mostly i'm picking up with the significant person that you're thinking about what is it okay all right all right all right mm -mm. so two of them here the first one says new beginning didn't i say for some of you you're really starting into a new beginning it's like this new beginning in your life and you know exactly whom i'm thinking about because as i talk about this new person or this energy you automatically think of this person and start missing this person it's an adventurous ride you guys you're going to love this person just embrace it live it go with the flow you can be the flow you know and for a lot of you the message over here is i am thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you so your person is saying that he or she is absolutely thinking about you at this point in time and you are the light of their life wow congratulations also i'm going to check very quickly what is the healing that you need to do in your relationship to you know move ahead in life for the ones who need to do some inner child healing shadow work all that i say about inner child healing shadow work meditation we run all workshops and classes for that So if you need more information do email me or hit me on uh, my DM on Instagram or the WhatsApp number that's below okay <laughs> Oh my god you know today see like look at this bottom of the deck and I'm not going to speak this out first first off the card that flew flew out was 8 of pentacles that means you need to put in work in this relationship it's just not going to sit on your lap and work okay on its own so you need to put work in any relationship my friend okay don't be dominating check out for the red flags check out for things that do not serve you right and if you're putting work and the other person is not putting in work then it's a hopeless relationship okay but there is some sort of healing also that you need to bring in and at the bottom of the deck here is this beautiful card and today when i was doing my shadow work like my inner child healing and that's something that i've started practicing on a daily basis because you you have to keep working on your healing on a daily basis daily basis that's only when that place is empty and new fresh good beginning can happen okay and this card i don't know if you can see it it's such a beautiful card i'm going to narrate that to you it's six of swords okay generally when you see six of swords you see uh, in the old tarot deck the the OG, the rider waite deck here you see that you know uh, there is like a child and a uh, adult woman going away like this one okay moving through mucky waters and this is the child which is taking this adult woman or this feminine energy through mucky waters okay but this card this nicoleta sasoli card deck is so beautiful for inner child healing and shadow work here the boat is in a shape of a coffin okay and there is this stitched up bunny like the cloth stitched up bunny with wings who has a tear and is actually taking this this boat ahead with and there are all obstacles here and today when i was doing my inner child work This is the card that came up, and there's like a you know what toys are here, which is obstacles in this girl or this energy's life. She's just there in the coffin, waiting to get that piece. But this is the person, this is the energy that's taking her through from the obstacles and helping her get into better water, or get to the shore, or get to the place of peace, because this this person definitely wants peace. 
and then when i just sat with this car i felt so amazing because you know i call upon archangel michael a lot and i literally felt that this is archangel michael who is helping me and i'm just here for the ride i'm doing nothing you know that's the beauty of this car like you just have to call upon your spirit guide at times you got to do nothing you just got to be there in the right and there's like this toy giraffe and i was called giraffe a lot in school because i was extremely tall you get body shamed you guys so i was one of those people who used to get body shamed and you know a lot of healing started happening like i started going through these emotions going back in school understanding that this girl has blue hair i have i love blue is my favorite color the water is blue it's like so much filled with emotions there's a button here i did two years of fashion designing but i didn't really pursue that and i just started connecting with this card a lot so similarly what i'm trying to tell you guys is maybe you're not a tarot reader and you don't have access to cards but you can sit and go inward okay in your relationship because right now we're talking about relationship generally anything in life it needs work it just doesn't happen automatically i'm not talking about the struggle bit i'm talking about it need work you need to heal from what did not from what has cut you because if you do not heal from what has cut you you're going to bleed on people who did not cut you right so so if you have been in a damaged relationship you if you and you've not healed you're going to keep attracting damage you hear me and you don't want to attract damage you want to attract this beautiful passionate adventurous person in your life and you want to go through a new beginning where somebody just lights up lights the spark in you right wow this is like so deep okay and there's so much more i can talk about that but it's for another time where i i really discuss about bringing the balance and how healing is so important in life okay you got to do the hard work in your relationship okay so that's what your shadow work is talking to you about wow any other message that i'm getting for relationship since i'm going detail let me go in detail okay any other message that i'm getting for just your relationship bit weight of the world. oh my god look at this spring on weight of the world boundaries boundaries set healthy boundaries watch the red flags in your relationship let it go let go of what does not serve you right let go of the damage and the weight of the world that means whatever is pulling you down from your relationships that's not right for you that's not yours to carry it's not your burden you got to cut the cord if it's not right for you and just breathe it out let it go let it go that frozen song let it go let it go i don't know how do you sing that but it's like i don't know why that song keeps coming okay now this was all about relationship let me pick some final messages for you guys what no not this let's check from the monology card what else is happening in your life dear divine universe ancestors angels and spirit guides what's happening for the collective what other guidance can we give the collective here that's detail you guys like that that's a detail reading i've not done that in a very long time your communication is being tested The monology card says sorry not your communication but i said communication so please speak kindly and communicate well also it says your commitment is being tested and i feel it's got to do a lot with you know with this new relationship your commitment is what you you need to bring on the table because that's going to be tested because this person whom you so want to involve in your life with it's not going to like look only for hanky panky okay the ones who really need something serious the ones who are creating magic there the magicians you my magicians i'm talking to you your commitment is going to be tested because this person that you're going to deal with is not here for hanky panky wants more to life okay so you got to 
you got to really be careful and see if you can really bring a viable option on the table and talk talk about it and work hard on it okay what are the message from angels dear divine okay there is something better there is definitely something better in your life that's your new beginning that's coming some of you are still convinced that your old is better or you're still stuck with your old get away stop compromising there is something better there is something better your angels are screaming out to you your spirit guides are screaming out to you they're giving you that message that stop being stuck in something that is so diggy daggy and it's not at all right for you why oh why oh why why do you want that what are the message do we have from our the divine universe angels and sisters and spirit guides what are the message do we have from the universe i also have the charm here i'm going to pull some charms for you later oh my god look at this it says have you asked your angels for help with this right from the beginning right from the beginning cut your cords back of the deck cut your cords wow i'm going to take both these cards cut your cords from people places and situations that is no longer for your highest purpose and good okay and when you are going through a situation you're confused go inwards ask your spirit guides angels to intervene give them the permission to intervene and guide you guide you to anchor that that anchor guide you okay ask for help wow let's check i just felt like picking up some charm so let's check what is the charm here okay that's quite a bit and let's see okay so there are many uh this is uh the charm of um it's like a university charm somehow this reminds me of uh, you know harry potter the the whole emblem of harry potter it reminds me of that so this could be uh or some university um, charm okay so maybe some of you are thinking of taking up some sort of educational thing or you know um just like like me like the whole harry potter world and uh, or are into some education or learning or you know art teaching or something like that and then you have a star which is so beautiful look at the star can you see and instantly i'm i'm getting that line from coldplay song look at the stars how they shine for you cuz they are all yellow i don't know why i'm just seeing all that like automatically visualizing the yellow here around me and the and this and that song by coldplay maybe you want to look it up look look how the stars shine for you that line cuz they are all yellow maybe that song reminds you of something or the person that you're dealing with likes that song or it's got something in it that's like giving you like oh i know this okay then there's like flowers here so maybe you like flowers or you're going to be gifted flowers or the person or anybody is going to uh, be gifting you flowers specifically rose and tulips and orchids i don't know i'm getting that i think orchids and tulips are my <laughs> favorite but there's something related to flower like for example my name sharon it's it's it it talks it's like a name in the bible that talks about fertility nature flowers garden and stuff so i just love flowers maybe you can gift me flowers okay and look at these two there's a key this key look at this carefully this is your key to your success okay and i'm going to talk a little bit about what you can do with the key 
to your success, to your love, to your life could be something related to this beautiful key. Do you see this key? Okay, I don't know how to put this across. It's like a very beautiful key. It's got some meaning to it, which I'm going to talk about it a little later. But first, there is a lot of love coming your way. L-O-V-E. Like in... Oh my God, I'm so happy for you guys. Congratulations. Who's looking for love? There's a lot of love coming your way. If no, if no love is coming your way, there is energetic love coming your way. You need to get into self-love. You need to connect with your guides who love you a lot. Okay, now... Getting back to what does this key represent? It's it's the key to your success. It's the key to your love. It's the key to your heart. Okay, but the tip that I was going to give you is every time you open a door with the key, a locked door, every time you put in a key and you open the door, in your head, just think what you want. So for example, I push in this key and I put it open and in my head, I think that I am opening the door for love. Or I'm opening the door of million dollars and I'm or I'm opening the door of success I'm opening the door for a new bakery or I'm opening the door for um, for something you know like something that that's going to talk to you about your success your love and whatever okay wow you guys that this reading is a long reading extremely detailed okay and I really request you to like, share, comment and take whatever resonates. Connect with me for anything in terms of counseling, mental health awareness and also tarot guidance. And for some of you, I'm 100% sure something has resonated with you and you need to know more information. Like you want like a detailed information, connect with me. Obviously, it's chargeable and I'm going to give you a detailed information. Meanwhile, keep cleansing your home, decluttering your life and your spirit and your soul and your mind, body and health. Lots of love and light till we meet again. Bye-bye.